Hi there, handbaggers, and welcome to the Duck's Nest. This is the Military Mom coming to you from the Operations Center on the evening of Thanksgiving in the very peculiar year of 2020. And despite the peculiarity of the year, I hope that you all have had a great Thanksgiving. In this video, I want to present to you God's Word, and then we will move into the handbag portion, which will actually be two parts. The first part is to respond to some comments that were left on my top 10 video, and to look at the designer Hammett Los Angeles. But before I get to any of that, I want to remind you all that we are having a drawing, a subscriber drawing, for this beautiful nylon and leather tote by Coach. So if you are interested in owning this bag and want to be entered into the drawing, please leave a comment in this video and I will enter your name and we will have the drawing on December 6th. Okay, so really what I wanted to talk to you all about is to explain why I began reading from the Bible, and sharing my faith on my channel. Um, because when I started my channel, I wasn't doing that. But what I realized is people need to know that there is an alternative to narratives that are being presented about the origin of the human species. And I believe in the eternal God, I believe in intelligent design, and I believe in a Christian world view. And I began sharing um, the Bible on my channel, and I was very hesitant because I was thinking, you know, people don't want to hear this. They want to just, you know, hear handbag information and I was thinking to myself, I'm probably going to lose some subscribers. And what's funny about that is I've actually gained subscribers since I began sharing. So what I want to quickly tell you is why um, I believe that I need to share this narrative with you all. There is a narrative about the creation of the human species that goes something like, we evolved from a one cell amoeba. I can't believe that. I can't believe that the human species who has the ability to think, to reason, to communicate, we have the capacity for emotions. I cannot believe that all of that evolved from a single celled amoeba or whatever the narrative is. I believe in Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I also believe that God breathed the breath of life into man and he became a living soul. I believe all of us have souls. An amoeba evolutionary narrative just doesn't explain a lot about life. It doesn't explain the family. Man shall leave his mother and father and cleave unto his wife. It doesn't explain the family um, unit. It doesn't explain a lot of things. It just, it just is not logical to me. So that's why I began sharing the Bible here on my channel. And especially in this time that we're living in right now, we need more than ever something solid to believe in. So I am glad that you have remained my subscribers. Thank you so much. And I hope that you will share my hope, which is a living hope in Jesus Christ. All right, so let's move on to the handbag portion of the video. And one of the comments, actually several comments in my top 10 handbag video was that the viewers or my subscribers were wondering what happened to the rogue? How, why didn't the rogue make the top 10? Well, let me explain really quickly that I love my robes. I love these bags, but these are dressier. And what I have, what I have stated in my um, top 10 video is that I 
ranked those bags from my handbag heart quickly and I didn't overthink it. And what I realized is I'm, I'm a pretty casual handbagger. Um, these are dressier bags. My rogues are dressier bags. And I also realized that my top 10 handbags, the majority of them have exterior pockets. Now those rogues have exterior pockets, but they, like I said, they have a dressier silhouette. And another comment that was left was that some viewers were, subs were surprised that my Gramercy satchels did not make the top 10. I love my Gramercy satchels. But these are dressier bags that have no exterior pockets. So my Gramercy's weren't really on my top 10 for that reason. They have no exterior pockets. But let me share a bag that does have an exterior pocket that also was not in my top 10. And that is my Dooney & Burke Alto tassel bag. And again, <laughs> the overuse of the love word. I do really, seriously. I love carrying this bag. It's very lightweight. But you can see, in spite of or despite its exterior rear zipper pocket, it has a really dressy um, silhouette. So that's why the Gramercy and the Rogues in my collection, which I really am um, happy to have in my collection, that's why they didn't make my top 10. All right, so let us move on to Hammett. And I'm going to show you all this. This is a bottle. Don't ask me why I keep this stuff in a bottle. <laughs> this is a bottle that has what I call handbag odds and ends. So let me show you what's in here. I've got a Dooney & Burke metal plate. I have, you know, the Dooney & Burke keychain that they give us uh, as a free gift that nobody ever uses, really. Um, I have some coach rings that I have taken off of some um, charms. They're key rings that I will never use. And interestingly enough, I have these little rings. I'm going to show you one at the front and one at the back. These little rings. And let me explain, let me explain where these little rings came from. These rings, let me stuff all this back in here. Hold on. Came from my Hammett Montana reversible shoulder bag. You all, look at this. Yes, these are the rings that belong here. And as you can see, these two are beginning or have come loose. Okay? You all who know Hammett know that these bags are not inexpensive. And to have a fail like that on these bags seriously brought down my handbag happiness factor with Hammett. This is a beautiful bag, and I loved carrying it. The leather, yes, it's that kind of leather. But I'm, I'm not understanding why these grommets failed like this. And I went on the Hammett website, and what they said was that these Hammett bags have a lifetime guarantee from the zipper to the leather to the hardware. So all I have to do is take a picture and send it to them and then they will take it from there and it's supposed to be an easy process. I will keep you all updated on that. But yeah, I was bummed out when these rings came off of my Hammett Montana bag. However, because I love the leather so much, I bought another Hammett bag. <laughs> I guess my handbag heart is a glutton for punishment. I don't know. I just could not believe that that brand had a fail like that. When my Dooney & Burke bags, who, um, my Dooney & Burke bags, I don't think I've ever had a fail. 
I know there have been fails, but I don't think I've ever had a fail. So here is it's not a replacement because I'm going to get that bag fixed, but this handbag is, as you can probably tell, is a backpack. And I contemplated the Dooney and Burke Small Ronnie and I contemplated it to death and decided that it was just a little too small. So I went with the Hammett that has side pockets and those of you who follow my channel know how much I love side pockets. And look at this you all. This bag has the zip zip function. And it has what they call the cell phone pocket. But look, it's there at the top. So let me see. I think I have a cell phone that I can show you. Look at that. Oh, I love good function. And that is good function. So let me really quickly, because I'm getting a low battery message. Let me show you all the interior and what fits. So there is no pocket on the back, but it does have a slip that you could slip over like a roller board and very supple leather that Hammett is known for and look at this there's a slip pocket behind the zip pocket and this zip pocket is not deep at all there's a leather zipper pull and um, well I guess it, it is pretty deep it accommodates my entire hand so let me show you what will fit before I run out of battery life my essentials, my glasses case, I would probably put back there. Maybe, you know what, no. I think I'll put my keys in that back slip. And then this is my largest cosmetic case, my Dooney and & Burke. And I'm going to put it in here with my glasses. And then my wallet. I'm just going to drop my wallet in here. Um again because I'm gonna run out of battery life and then this is a fairly large Dooney & Burke cosmetic case so you, you see there are two cosmetic cases my glasses my wallet and then my um, keys are in this in the back slip and there's a pocket here and then my cell is in the cell pocket at the top of the bag how ingenious is that? And I haven't even used all of the space because I don't have anything in the side pockets. Top handle, adjustable straps, dark hardware, and this um, sleeve is a webbed sleeve and it says Hammett. Can you all see that? It has the grommets on the front. There is no front pocket other than the cell phone pocket. But this, oh my gosh, I think that this was a much better choice than the Dooney and Burke Ronnie because I looked at that Ronnie and looked at that Ronnie and looked at that Ronnie, the small Ronnie, and it was just a little too small for me. So what do you all think about this Hammett um, little backpack? Check out the description box. I will leave the dimensions there. This is in the color black. And I can't remember if there are other colors. This is a new silhouette from Hammett. So it is still on the Hammett website. I bought mine, however, from eBay. But it was brand new. It still is in the factory packaging. So that is, I think, all I wanted to share with you all. Thank you so much for stopping by the Duck's Nest. And as always, happy carrying.